All right, Ben Parker of CardinalSportsSupport.com here with Stanford freshman Caning Carlisle. So first of all, just talk about how is life on the farm and treating you so far? Hey, it's been treating me amazing. I'm, I'm loving the community, loving the support, loving my coaching staff, loving everybody here, so it's fun. And uh, just kind of talk about what kind of main areas of your game have you most been looking to improve, focus on for this year? Um, with limited turnovers, three-point consistency, and improving my pace. There's been three most important things I'm working on this summer, and I'm excited to show y'all this upcoming season. And just kind of talk about kind of quickly, kind of what made you kind of choose Stanford? Why did you feel this was the right place for you? Um, I feel like challenge was a place that would challenge me men mentally and physically. Um, athletically, I mean, it's, it's a top D1 school, and I'm ready to get back to the tournament and win games this year. And uh, ac academically, kind of speaks for itself, one of the best schools in the country academically, so um, I'm glad to be able to say that I, I, I should be able to get my degree by the end of four years. And, uh, and also to talk about kind of your experience with Overtime Elite and just kind of how that kind of prepared you for, for this uh, college experience you're having now. Yep, um, Overtime Elite was a big part of my development. Um, they, they, kind of, they kind of taught me how I feel to make reads, pick and roll reads, blah, 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 et cetera. I had to score out the pick and roll, how to better play with other big time players. And, um, and not always have the volume of shots that I normally would have. So OT taught me a lot, and, and I'm, I'm glad I had that experience. You're from the state of Georgia. Just talk about kind of what it's like, how playing in a basketball, talent-rich state, like that kind of prepared you. It prepared me a lot. Everywhere you go, you, you find a dog. You find somebody who, who, who wants your spot. So every game is a battle, and I loved it. It, it made me who I am today. Any guys in Georgia you kind of grew up watching or idolizing or wanting to be like, or just, yeah? Um, well, I went with Pepper for a few years, so Colin Sesson was one of my big idols, Jared Harper. Um, those two of them are like the guards that I looked up to a lot growing up. So um, I try to add a little bit of that game to my game for sure. And just in general, kind of how excited are you for the upcoming season and the chance to play college basketball and just being a part of the Stanford team? Just talk about the excitement level that you have and that the team has. Hey, I'm very excited. We all say as a whole, we'll be ready to go try to win this national championship this year. And hey, it's going to be a movie this year for sure. And, you know, just talk about, too, just kind of as a point guard, who are some of the key point guards you've looked up to, studied, or just kind of modeled your game after? Who are some of the, the top point guards that you've kind of looked up to? Yeah. Um, a lot of Darius Garland, De'Aaron Fox, Dan Miller, um, Steph Curry was all ball movement. Just kind of watching them guards, some guards that kind of play on and off the ball at the same time. Um, and, and just trying to learn, take as much from their game as I can and, and put it in my game. Talk about the relationship you have with uh, – Jared Bynum, who's in the backcourt with you. What's it been like playing with him and just kind of the experience and veteran leadership he's brought to the team? You know, I love playing with Jared. Um, he's taught me a lot already just being here for, for this short amount of time. Um, and and it's, it's nice seeing him every day coming here doing his job. He, he, he's showing me how to be professional, showing me how to care myself like an older person. So, so I'm, I'm thankful for Jared. Yeah, you know, to just in general kind of talk about what, what have you most enjoyed about being here at Stanford so far and being a part of this community? Man, I'll just say everybody here, everybody here is so genuine. Everybody speaks to you every day. Even if they don't know who you are, they're still gonna ask you your name, ask you what you do. And I feel like everybody respects everybody out here. So um, California, the Stanford community is definitely a great community to be a part of. Yeah, and um, we'll, wait for, we'll wait for that. We'll wait for that to go. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else to ask you here. I mean, just, um, you know, one of the things that you seem to be really good at is kind of is is kind of bringing defensive intensity. You kind of touched on this, but just where does that kind of defensive tenacity come from, and how much pride do you take in being a two-way player? Mm -hmm. um, it's come from me growing up. My dad has told me defense was going was going to separate me from the rest of the, my rest of my grade and the rest of the world. It was my defense. So ever since then, I've just been focusing on my defense, focusing on learning angles, and just becoming the best player I can become. Meanwhile, being able to score the ball at, at the best of my ability. What is the key to becoming a good defender beside beyond just kind of effort just kind of what are things you kind of work on how, how does one become a good defensive player um angles quickness um and, and just understanding player tendencies um when you, when you study the game when you watch film it all kind of come together and you all you just learn the player tendencies and you can guard that your best way possible you know one of the things obviously that you kind of touched on but you know stanford's looking to get back to the ncaa tournament the first time since 2014. how much of that is talked about versus just kind of the day-to-day -day? how much do you guys kind of talk about you know, kind of ending that dry, that dry spot. Um, it's not really brought up that often. We're taking it one day at a time, trying to improve on getting 1% better every day. And, and hey, we'll be excited for the upcoming season and we're ready to see what happens this year. Talk about, too, just kind of the foreign trip you guys went on and just kind of how much did that kind of help you guys kind of grow and bond as a team? It was fun. It was a great experience for, for us as a team. Went down and played three games. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't win all of them, but we got good learning experiences from it. Learn from it and we're ready to move forward and learn from from the foreign tour to get better. Was there a favorite country you visited? What, what's, which country kind of set out to you as your favorite that you visited? Um, 
I'll probably say Greece is my favorite. I'll probably say Greece. Uh, Greece is more low key. Went to the beach and it was, it was more relaxing than I would say Paris was. Was that your, how, how many, how, you've been out of the country before, but was that your first time to Europe or just kind of talk about? Yeah, it was my first time to Europe. Um, I've been out of the country one time and it was Tijuana, Mexico for USA basketball. But um, that was my first time in Europe and I enjoyed it for sure. Cool, and I'm, I'm assuming you're you're hoping to go back? Hoping, hoping to go back one, one year for sure. Any other, any other countries you'd want to visit or see, or just kind of not that mm -hmm. you've kind of been any places that you haven't been before? Man, I want to, I want to go there next. I kind of want to travel the whole world. Though. I want to see every place. I want to see different cultures and you know, getting experience with different lifestyles. So, well, the basketball that you guys that you guys faced off in Europe was it? How how different was it from what you guys are used to playing here in the states? Um, it was very different. Like like the pace of the game is different. You know, going against pros. They, they, they know how to use their body, they know how to change pace, they know how to read the defense. So now it's, it's all of us just keeping it tight and not, I feel like we played great first three quarters and then we kind of kind of dialed down a little bit in the fourth. But um, now it's just improving and learn how to keep, keep, keep the same level of play or erase a level of play all games. Two more questions for it, then I'll let you go. Just kind of any interesting clashes you're enrolled in this first quarter that stand out or particularly fun? Yeah. Hey, um, I, I am loving my, my um, African-American study classes right now, so. I'm loving it. Awesome. What do you what do you most kind of enjoy about about those? Um, just just learn about our cultures, learn about our past, learn about our history. Sweet. And then final question for it. This is a question I've asked other guys. You're getting the same question. Do you have a favorite flavor of Gatorade? And if so, what is it? Mmm. Uh. It's, it's probably like the white the white glacier one. The white, the white Gatorade is probably my favorite. The white one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty popular one. It yeah, seems it's like. My favorite one for sure. Well, thank you so much, Kenny, for taking the time, and uh, good luck this upcoming season with the Cardinal. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, man.